Welcome to Open the Book. Do you remember we left Jesus in the story last time? He was very wet. He'd been in the river with John the Baptist. John had baptised Jesus. He'd dipped him in the River Jordan. And the voice of God was heard to say that Jesus was very, very special. Well, in our story today, it's also a bit watery and a bit fishy as we find out about Jesus and his special friends. So we're going to open the book and find out about this new story today. Jesus' Special Friends Jesus grew up in a place called Galilee, where there was a large and beautiful lake. And it was there that he began the work God gave him to do. He told the people, God is like a king. And he wants all of you to be part of his kingdom, to love him and to love each other. People like to hear Jesus talk. In fact, one morning the crowd was so huge that Jesus was nearly pushed into the sea. Jesus asked the fisherman, Excuse me, could I borrow your boat for a while? And the fisherman's name was Peter. Of course. It's doing me no good. I was out all night and didn't catch a thing. Jesus climbed into the boat. Peter rowed it a little way from the shore. And from there, Jesus talked to the crowd. When he had finished, Jesus sent the people home. And then he turned to Peter. Let's go a little further out. I'd like to catch some fish. Peter tossed back his head and laughed. I told you, my men and I were out all night. We caught nothing. Jesus didn't say a word. He just smiled and looked across the lake. Peter sighed. All right, if that's what you want. So Peter sailed to the deepest part of the lake. Then he dropped his fishing nets over the side. It took no time at all. The nets started pulling and jerking and stretching and it was all Peter could do to keep the boat from tipping over. Peter called to some friends nearby. Help! Help me, please! They rowed to him as fast as they could. Then all together the men pulled on the nets and the fish came tumbling and slapping onto the decks of both boats. Red fish and blue fish, and not just one or two fish. So many, in fact, that the boats would have sunk had the fishermen not rowed back quickly to the shore. Peter looked at the fish. Peter looked at his friends. Then Peter looked at Jesus and fell to his knees, trembling. Only God or somebody full of his power could do that. And why would someone like that want to go fishing with the likes of me? Jesus shook his head and smiled. Don't be scared. God has given me a lot of work to do. And I need helpers. Helpers like you and your friends. Once you fished for fish. But from now on, you'll be fishing for people and helping me bring them to God. Then Jesus stepped out of the boat and walked away across the shore. Come with me. Peter and his friends watched him go. They looked at the fish and they looked at each other. Then they dropped their nets, left their boats behind and raced off to follow Jesus. Well, what a great story. They managed to catch all those fish. But I wonder if you noticed what Peter said towards the end. He realised how amazing Jesus was and how a miracle like this can only been done by God. And he says, why would you want to associate with us? Why would you want to be friends with us? Because he was thinking that he's only a lowly fisherman, why would Jesus want to be friends with him? But Jesus did want to be friends with him. And in fact, Jesus wants to be friends with all of us. 
he lets all of us have the chance to follow him and be best friends with him. And that's great news. So I'm going to end in a short prayer, and if you'd like to make it yours, please join in with the Amen at the end. Dear Lord, thank you that you came to earth so that we would have an opportunity to be friends with you. Help us to follow you. Amen.